Virgin Kite Surf World Championships have come to the island of Fuerteventura for the fourth stop of the 2015 season. It's a beautiful thing. Loosely translated as strong winds, it's all in the name here in Fuerteventura as the second largest Canary Island is notorious for its muscular riding conditions. I think the key about winning here is like just go full on and try to do the trick when you get the gas and risk it, but also land it. That's what a lot of people struggle with here. They can have pretty hard crashes. Fuerteventura marks the halfway point of the tour season and several names come to mind as the battle for the freestyle world title is slowly ramping up. On the men's side, it's Liam Whaley from Spain who is in the lead with three victories so far this year. Liam is out however with a minor injury and won't be present at this event. Trailing him is a formidable duel of world champions featuring Yuri Zun from the Netherlands and the UK star rider Aaron Hadley. Yeah, pretty consistent results, no big standout ones yet, but it's only been three events so far, so moving forward hopefully here the conditions will suit me a little more. It's definitely tough, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be close throughout the season I'm sure. Young Brazilian ripper Carlos Mario and strongman from New Zealand Mark Jacobs are also in the running after taking first and second place respectively at the last event in Tarifa. On the women's side, defending title holder Karolina Winkowska from Poland is sitting comfortably on top of the leaderboard. Behind her, and eager to catch up, are Gisela Polito from Spain, Brazilian Bruna Kajia, and Dutch rider Annelus Lemertz. Big Air is also on the menu here in Spain as the robust wind conditions make Fuerteventura an ideal venue to take flight. Dutch kiteboarding sensation and top-ranked Kevin Langere is here and he's as fired up as ever to take home yet another win. An undefeated Gisela Polito will also compete on the women's side of the Big Air contest. It feels good to be on the top of the, of the Big Air and I want to keep it that way. I want to put uh, quite a lot of effort on it because I think it's a cool discipline. When there's like 35, 40 knots, you can, I don't know, just get a big kite and go up there and have fun. So with all that's at stake in the blowing canary winds, the stage is set for anyone to take home the trophy.